In this video, I'm going to share with you the best defense right now in Madden 22. This is the best base coverage defense that you can be running in this game. This is going to be able to help you stop the majority of what most people are trying to do, whether they're adding the gun bunch, the gun bunch tight end, the U-trips, the trips tight end. It does not matter. This is the best base defense in Madden right now. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I do videos like this every day to help you get better at this game. And also, if you have not picked up my 245 odd defensive guide, it is on sale right now for just 15 bucks. It, it is a complete system that literally breaks down how to blitz the crap out of your opponent with only sending five people at the most. Normally, we only send two to three people, and we're able to get edge pressure. Uh, we're able to come in against blocked running backs and stuff like that. And then we also teach you how to use this blitz, and based out of this defense, how to apply this to different formations like bunch or bunch tight end or trips tight end or some of the meta offenses that you're probably facing online. So if you want to get the best defense in Madden right now, uh, the 245 on, in my opinion, is the best thing that you can get right now. And again, it's on sale for just 15 bucks, and there's a link to get it in the description of the video. Okay, guys, so the play we're going to be coming out in every single play is pinch two. Now, this, in my opinion, is the best base defense that you can have in this game. And I'm going to show you a little trick that I like to use that basically gets my deep half zones to be very effective against seam streaks and also outside wheel patterns based off of the alignment of where we can put them on the field. So we're going to come out and pinch two real quick. Let me show you my coaching adjustments. Auto flip is going to be on. I normally turn this off if I'm not facing bunch. And the reason why is so that I can control where my linebacker is. I like to run 2-4-5 on flipped um, unless I'm playing bunch. Whereas bunch, it's not necessarily dependent on that. Probably U-trips is similar in that regard. But things like trips tight in, I like to turn auto flip off. Anyways, uh, auto alignment is to baseline. Ball and air defense is to play ball. Option defense is on conservative. Then this is the really important part. Flats are going to be on 30. Curl flats are going to be on 5 and hooks are going to be on default, okay? If they're really throwing to the flats, you could bump these down to zero. Um, if they're really throwing like flood concepts or really throwing out routes, you could bump them up to 10. But five is a great middle ground for where the game is right now, okay? So let's come out and pinch two. And our first adjustment is we're going to show blitz. We're going to bring this safety right over the center, just like this. And then we're going to have this guy right here. Now, the reason why I like to do this is this is going to significantly help us both in the run game and the pass game. The reason why it's going to help us in the run game is because now we have two free linebackers, essentially, that are going to be able to fill gaps if, if the opponent decides to run the ball. The reason I like them in the pass game is because they're going to start inside. They're going to back up like this, and they're going to fan all the way out to here so the reason i like this is the 30 yard clouds are going to kind of distract them from just throwing a streak route and then by the time that the streak route is coming open you'll see that these guys are going to should be back outside and i do like to go ahead and shade my coverage to the outside whenever i run this defense okay and then the the following adjustments are honestly super super simple all we're going to do is we're going to put the the uh the blitzing slot cornerback on a curl flat zone so as you see here, he's going to be on that underneath zone style. We're going to put the left of screen uh, middle linebacker, which is Thompson, on a curl flat zone as well. So as you can see, he's going to go to the left side, take away any flat coverage. And then lastly, uh, what I like to do is take the defensive end on the bunch side and put him into a bluff blitz. And you're going to see this right here. He's going to basically play over the middle of the field. And then that's going to free me up. If I see any post route over the top, I'm going to go get that or any seam streaks to the slot. I'm mainly watching the slot receiver. And if he goes vertical, I'm going to go with him. If he goes underneath... Then I'm going to look over to the left side and see if that other side guy is going to the verticals as well. So we're just going to run this against uh, a simple mesh post concept here. And this is going to be kind of to mimic double post and what they could do from that. And again, make sure you're pass committing. But as you can see, this is kind of the, what the defense looks like. Snap of the ball. What you're going to see is you're going to get instant, pre pretty much instant pressure. And then you're just, as you see here, usering that outside guy. So let me see if I can get into instant replay here. I can't. Okay, perfect. So let's take a look at this. So if you think about it, now normally you're going to get this guy completely clean off this left edge. It was kind of fluky that he got picked up, to be honest. Um, it might have been because I didn't hold left trigger with my user. But anyway, normally you're going to get this guy completely free if they don't block their running back. Okay, so that's going to force him to want to block the running back. But now look at this real quick. 
You've got your three rec hook here doing a decent job of just kind of initially saying, you know, you probably shouldn't throw this. You probably should wait a little bit. Now, it does come open right here. I will say that. It is open right here. Um, okay. But then if you look here, obviously if it's open here, but then we're going to make a quick tackle. But you see there the flats are taken away to the right. Flats are taken away to the left. This post route, we've got plenty of coverage on that. I could even let that go. But then as you see right here, this is what I'm talking about. If he tries to throw this ball... If I get a good safety here, he's going to be able to recover on that and make a play. But then I've also got this zone right here that is going to really limit their ability to throw that route. Now, let's go against your typical, uh, real quick, let's just go over one more play. and I actually want to go over two more plays. Um, the first one is the typical gun bunch flood concept. Uh, so all we're going to do, as you see here, I mean, this is not too, it's really not too labor intensive to set up, to be honest. You're just showing blitz, you're bringing that guy down, and then you're going to sit like here like this. Now, to give myself a little bit more time, I'm going to go ahead and block my running back and just try to kind of contain the blitz because the blitz is super, super effective. But I'm actually going to go max protect. But I just want you to watch, we'll just do this. Um, watch this corner right on the right. So I'm going to be vertical. Oh, I pass him off. And then you see here that my defender's right in that area to make that play. So he doesn't always make the play, but he is in the area to make the play. And I feel pretty good about that. Every now and then we'll get a pick, I guarantee it, uh, on something like that. And then the last play that I want to go over is the gun bunch verticals. And I just want to show kind of something that you need to be aware of if you know they're running some some verticals on you you kind of do need to be aware of this just so you can be understanding of like what's happening so if you see bunch verticals remember your primary responsibility is to follow the slot uh, so if the slot goes vertical like this okay then what you're gonna do is you're gonna abandon your responsibilities now you've got great pressure I wanted to I really want to hit that home you're going to get great pressure from this. I'm doing some stuff special to pick this up, but you've got really good pressure. So if they run bunch verticals with this motion out, again, I'm always shading outside. I'll even spotlight that circle receiver from time to time just in case that happens. But what you should see here is I'm following up here. And if you look, there's really not a win. I mean, you can hit that, but that's a really tight throw by the time the pressure comes in. Let me show you what's happening here. The cloud flat or the, or I'm sorry, the soft squat, the 30 yard soft squat. If you watch what it does, it kind of splits the difference. If you put him in a cloud, he'll play a little bit more to the outside. But you see right here at this point, he's going over here to go play this. And I mean, obviously we had thrown the ball, but that's just something you have to understand. Now, the other thing, another little way that you can kind of hedge your bet a little bit, I want to give you one last thing about this. Another way that you can hedge your bet a little bit is let's say that you, uh, let's say that you see that motion out, okay? This is something that Madden just put into the game as far as, um, you know, gun bunch goes specifically for corner routes. And this is something that I really like to do in this situation. So let's say that I'm playing my, I'm running my stuff right, and, you know, I see that they motion out the slot corner okay so what i can do is as soon as he motions this guy out so as soon as i see let me just show you so i'm going to set the play up and then i'm going to motion out and try to quick hike so as soon as i see this motion i'm going to press coverage and i'm going to put that outside guy on a deep third okay now i've got that and if you even want to, you could put the inside safety on an inside quarter zone. I, I like to do that if I have a chance to. Now, there's nowhere that they can hit that route. There's nothing they can do. And then let's say that they run like a traditional um, flooding concept. So let me just punt the ball back. Uh, let me just punt the ball back real quick because I want to show you this one last thing and then we'll be done. Again, if you want to get the full defensive scheme, this is just one concept. If you want to get the full defensive scheme, like I said, there's a link in the description of the video. You can get the full guide for just $15. Um, and like I said, I think it's the best defense you could possibly be running right now, Matt. I really do. Um, it's got the best pressure. You can create some pretty decent coverages out of it. It also has the best personnel. You can get um, you can get the the proper number of linebackers or uh, safeties on the field. You can get eight defensive backs on the field with some of the personnel tricks. So now what I'm going to do is I just want to show you this uh, like this flooding concept from Z Spot and Go. So this is a very popular concept, and what a lot of people like to do, especially if you're uh, you know kind of playing pretty decent defense, one of the tactics that you know any good bunch player is going to know is they're going to motion this guy out on an out route and they're going to streak their tight end. So as you see something like this, 
is what you're going to see. So you go to set your play up, and now they, they could be in a position where they're in a really big time advantage if you think about it when they motion this out. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to press, put that guy in an outside third, and I want you to watch what happens uh, to that. We still have the hard flat out there. We now have that outside third, and I just want you to watch what happens to the corner route. This is with the latest patch. You see their pressure's coming in. That outside third plays it because it's in relationship with a deep half zone and an outside third, and as you see, we take that away. So that's how I like to handle the motion out stuff from Gun Bunch and also how I like to handle. This is a great base defense, and I would encourage you to run this. This is a really, really effective defense. We also have some really heavy pressures, uh, pre pressure concepts uh, in it. I'll show you one real quick. I'm not going to show you the setup because we talk about it in our defensive ebook, but this is going to get instant pressure if they decide to max protect. So just going to show this. I max protect and I'm blocking everybody out of gun bunch. And what you should see is this left side guy should come completely free every time. As you see, that is something that the defensive ebook will absolutely break down for you. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get access to the defensive guide, there's a it's a $15 one-time purchase. There's no uh, recurring payments or anything. It's literally just one time, 15 bucks, and you get the entire defense for the year because we actually update this defense anytime we find something new, anytime we find a new concept or a new patch comes out that changes stuff we like to update this for you completely for free so thanks for watching the video if you want to get the defensive guide there's a link in the description below